In this tutorial, we're going to look at um, the second half of photosynthesis, the dark reactions, um, and how they uh, generate um, the uh, three sugar molecule. Um, if you haven't already, I'd highly recommend you take a look at photosynthesis one, an overview and light reactions. Um, I'll put the link to that video in the description and on screen, um, so you can just click it and check that out. It is quite a long video, I think it's 15 minutes long, uh, but it's really worth a check out before you uh, continue watching this video, unless you're happy with the uh, light reactions side of photosynthesis. Um, Okay, so if you recall from that video, uh, there were two main products um, from the uh, light reactions. Um, okay, so it's just, uh, the dark. Okay, in the dark reactions, there were two products from the light reactions which are needed for the dark reactions. And the dark reactions don't necessarily take place in the dark, but they just don't require light, which the light reactions do. Because they take their energy from ATP, which brings us on to our first product of the light reactions. Do you remember we um, in light reactions we took uh, ADP plus PI and we converted that into ATP, um, and also we took um, the spare electrons and hydrogen um, and um, and hydrogen pro and hydrogen ions or protons, um, and we formed and we took NADP and we converted that into NADP. Plus, no, sorry, not plus. Um, dot two H. So there are the two uh, products from the light reactions. Now, um, what happens in the dark reactions is the NADP uh, dot two H is oxidized um, back into NADP. Um, and then the NADP uh, goes back into the light reactions that can take up uh, two more electrons and protons. Now, um, in the uh, dark reactions, um, the inside the um, uh, chloroplast, um, the Dark reactions undergo go a chemical reaction called the Calvin cycle, named after um, its discoverer Melvin Kelvin in uh, 1945. So the Calvin cycle uh, takes three uh, CO2 or carbon dioxide molecules um, and nine ATP molecules. So that's an awful lot. Um, and you'll see why it's an awful lot in a minute, um, plus the NADP dot 2H. Now, bear in mind, this gets oxidized in the dark reaction, so that helps us reduce um, the carbon dioxide um, to the to form the um, three carbon sugar phosphate, um, which so this goes to um the three C so or three carbon um sugar phosphate sugar a S U G A R uh, yeah, sugar phosphate plus nine A T P plus eight P I um plus the six N A D P which is the oxidized uh, NADP.2H, um, and then that can go back into the light reaction. But that's the uh, general reaction for the dark reactions or the Kelvin cycle. Now, if you note here, we've taken nine ATP, so that's an, a lot of energy we've, we've just uh, taken um, just to produce one sugar phosphate. I just but just bear that in mind. A lot of energy to produce one molecule of sugar phosphate. Now, this uh, sugar phosphate uh, is transported uh, to the chlorosol, um, where it some of it is used directly in respiration to produce energy for the body, um, or 
most of it is actually uh, made into glucose, uh, into 6C sugars, um, both glucose phosphate and fructose phosphate. And say so those are both um, six carbon sugars. Okay, now um, just go onto a new page. Uh, just to outline the link between the um, light and dark reactions, we're just going to draw a little diagram. Now, uh, if we just outline the chloroplast, draw it nice and big. So this is the chloroplast, and um, then we've got um, H high, uh, water coming in, and oxygen is being released, molecular oxygen. Um, now, um, here we've got the uh, photosynthetic electron transport taking place. So, do that in different colour. So, photosynthetic electron transport. And, and um, to supply the energy for that, the light or photons comes in. So that um, now the again that this constitutes the light reactions here. So this is the light reactions um, here. And now in the middle here we've got the um, oh no, that uh, bring that down a bit more. Um, so so if we bring that down a bit more. This constitutes the light reactions. Um, now we've got the transport um, or the ATP cycle. So we've got ATP and we've got NAD dot two H NADP dot two H. Now um, and we've also got NADP uh, which it produces and ATP plus PI. So of course during the uh, photosynthetic um, electron transport we produce ATP from that uh, and vice versa during the dark reactions the energy from ATP is used up and it goes back to ATP plus PI. And a similar thing happens with the oxidization uh, and reduction of NADP. Um, so again NADP in the light reactions, which we covered in the previous video, is converted into um, NADP.2H, so that has been reduced. Um, and then in the um, dark reactions, it is oxidized to form NADP. And again, it goes round, so they're two circular processes. Now, in during the dark reactions now, um, we have another process called um, carbon fixation, which is the uh, basically the the, um, the chemical equation which I gave you up here, the carbon fixation or the Calvin cycle, the fixation of two of CO2 molecules to form a sugar phosphate through the oxidization, or which is the reducing agent for the um, CO2 uh, to form the 3C sugar phosphate. Um, and that's called the carbon fixation. So, so that's the carbon fixation, and it takes CO2 um, and converts that into 3C sugar phosphate during the reaction that we explained above. Okay, now bear in mind all this is taking place within the uh, chloroplast. So all this here is the chloroplast. Um, and I remember out here, outside the chloroplast, is the chlorosol. Okay, so we've got the dark reactions and the light reactions working together um, through the transport of ATP and ATP plus PI. Um, and again, the carbon fixation um, works through this equation, yeah, the Calvin cycle. If you found this tutorial useful, um, it would be great if you could hit the like button below. Um, and of course, if you've got any comments, just place them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching um, and don't forget to check out my other videos.